Hi everyone, holiday gift ideas. I'm going to admit I left the guys out. Why? Because they're a little easier, I think. They're so happy with a gift card or a bag of bird seed or a new set of golf balls. They're just easier. These are gifts that I love to give and receive. So let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Aging Gracefully and my name is Marianne. I'm so happy for you to be here and today we are going to talk about my suggestions for some holiday gifts. Now these happen to be gifts that I use personally and that I tend to use on a very regular basis, very routine, and I think they make terrific gifts. Some of these range in prices from low end to high end. It all depends on who you're um, seeking to purchase a gift for or if you're stumped with someone, but um, I thought I would share with you exactly some of the items that I use, some of them very daily or at least routinely. And so let's get started. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps me out. And so first of all, I thought I would just start with some real basics. Let's do this. Candles. These are my favorite candles. These are candles that I will reorder yearly. One of them happens to be Nest. And this particular flavor is pumpkin chai. I love it. Um, every year I order a new one. I had half of one left from last year. I usually go through two for the season and this is my new one. So I'm pretty sure I will uh, not have a whole lot left because I do tend to burn this one like every day because I love it. These candles burn really beautifully. This is a one wick candle and you can see how even it has burned down. There's never any black soot or debris. I love these and then these little containers you can use later on to either stick a votive in and use them that way, line them up on your table. They are a little bit pricey as far as candles but I never get, um, my, my sinuses never get irritated with this brand of candle and I just love them. So I purchase them through Nordstrom when I need to reorder. Another candle that I have been using this year especially are these beeswax. Now this is a taper candle and I have some other um, squattier stout ones for my tall candle holders but these are dripless um, there's a little bit of scent of bees honey beeswax honey I got these through Amazon I think they look very nostalgic I just love the way they present themselves and I happen to have an old-fashioned this is a bobbin um, wooden bobbin and that's what I utilize um, the candle as a candle holder and I just love the soft glow that taper candles um, give you. Another favorite candle that I do purchase quite a bit, this happens to be empty, this is from Anthropology, and this is called Whipped Pearl. I can still smell that candle. This is another candle that does burn down very evenly. I mean, I burnt it all the way down to the bottom. It gets a little bit sooty on the inside, but not much. And then, of course, you have this adorable, cute little canister that you can use for whatever you want. Sometimes I just keep one or two of these as I use them. Um, and then, because they're a cute little crock, and they just kind of have that old antique look to them where they're sort of that semi-crack to it. But um, I keep some of them, and some of them I just dispose of um, just for outside flowers that I want to bring in. I just think it's a cute little crock. Next, I want to show you a couple of uh, my favorite, I guess I'll just start and go through kitchen, um, our cups. And this 
crock here is a crock cup. It's great for heating up soups or stews or uh, it's a perfect size for a cup of chili or just your hot beverage. Right now I have my uh, yogurt and my uh, granola and blueberries because I haven't finished my brunch yet um, but the, it's perfect and I love them because I have that yogurt inside and the crock just keeps it so nice and cold so when i'm finished with the video i can get back to it um, i just think they're worth the price and i utilize it a lot because there's just times i want to heat up broth i like to just sip broth it just helps in between meals it keeps me full and this is a perfect crock for it also, I am very big on changing my coffee mugs out per season. This happens to be a really cute um, a pumpkin coffee mug. I'll keep like four for um, fall, four for the Christmas season, and then the rest go into my normal, regular um, coffee mugs. So this happens to be Maxira and that's the designer and they're always out. I find them at Home Goods, sometimes TJ Maxx, and I love to mix and match. This is a really great mug uh, for your morning coffee or tea. And if you're looking for just a special little gift to give to someone. Um, these are uh, pumpkin spice latte packages that you can pick up like at Starbucks or you know you can find these individual packages anywhere and then maybe stick a few um, chocolate candies in there, wrap it in cellophane and a bow and it makes a great gift. Now like I said, I don't really have a reference to these mugs, but I do find them at um, Home Goods and uh, TJ Maxx and, you know, stores like that. Also, a great gift is to think about a collection for someone. If you are scratching your head for that really difficult, hard gift, and you want to start a collection for them, or you know they have a collection, these are the Johnson Brothers. They're hard to find sometimes, but this happens to be a really adorable Christmas mug. So if you have somebody in your family that you are you know, uh, buying a gift for and you want to start them on a collection, this is a great, I love these types of mugs. They're seasonal, but they're just a reminder to that individual that this was a special gift given to you by so-and-so and you'll always think of them yearly. And a cute little gift is just a little tin of teas or again coffee wrapped up in cellophane and bowed. It just the presentation of a gift makes that gift beautiful. Doesn't mean it has to be super, super expensive to give a gift. No, it just has to be from the heart and something that's really special. So that's just an idea. Continuing on with kitchen items, um, if you're looking for a gift for a coffee lover, um, this happens to be from World Market. It's called Stroop Waffle. Mm, I can smell it in the bag. It is the best tasting coffee um, for this particular season. It's smooth. It's not bitter. Um, and these make beautiful gifts. Um, and I'm sharing this one as a favorite because I love good coffees, especially this time of year. Normally throughout the year, I stick with the same coffee. And my favorite one is... Um, blueberry cobbler and I just drink that all year round but during the season of fall and Christmas I love to change it up and find a good coffee that might not be there all the time but I am definitely going to hit back at world market and pick up a few more bags we go through a lot of coffee here in this house and this one is delicious and this also makes a cute gift to give someone a bag of coffee and a coffee mug. I think it's nothing, um, you know, it's not rocket science. It's just something simple and um, something that's thoughtful because you're thinking about that person. Also, I love to give 
gifts like this in for the kitchen. I am a cook. I love to cook. And if I know somebody else has that interest, then if they're on my Christmas list, that means I'm going to put something together in the kitchen that I love. Now, this happens to be my Christmas apron. I had to get a new one for this year. And I'm really loving these body ones because they cover you and keep your clothes clean. This one I happened to get on Etsy. And you know, I'm going to let you know I got this at Etsy.com. Susie's Tie On Apron. She had some really cute ones. Very, very beautifully made. I mean, just look at that little detail on that pocket. If you got to wear an apron, you might as well be in fashion. And I think that an apron that you pick out for someone and a cast iron skillet, of course, the apron folded up uh, nicer than that, makes a beautiful gift. And I say cast iron because I have a whole assortment of pans that I use, but I always talk about cast iron and I think if you have a young family member who is approaching that moving out on their own getting married starting them off on cast iron I think is a great idea and they're very affordable you can pick up cast iron anywhere but I am partial to lodge normally I'm just always looking for lodge cast iron but this happens to be a cast iron that I've had for probably 35 or 40 years and I don't know what kind it is but you can see it's well loved well seasoned and I think this makes a beautiful gift but I think cast iron is a great way to start somebody off or especially if you've got that um, particular gift to give to somebody who is a newly engaged and approaching marriage and you want to just think of their household, I think this is a fun gift. Another gift that I think is great to give is a gift card to like Barnes & Noble or you could do Amazon. I always think gift cards are great to give. Now I love those because I use them myself throughout the year and I also use them as gifts. But I think a book, buying someone a classic book and especially if you know you have a young reader um, that is just you know loves to read and is getting more into that teenage kind of year or just anybody who loves to read if they haven't been turned on to Richard Paul Evans he is a beautiful Christian writer and he has an assortment of novels. I have almost every one that he's written, and this year it's called The Noel Letters. I talk about him a lot on my channel because I think he's a great author, and um, I always get a really just great feeling as I'm reading the book, and um, you know, it's just, books are great gifts. I think so many times we get caught up in purchasing gifts for other people and we get frustrated but if we think of the basics and think of what do I love what do I like receiving as a gift or you know a book now you wouldn't want to do this for someone who you know absolutely hates reading and never picks up a book but for those of, that do this is a great um, great book to read during the holidays especially and he's a great author so now I'm going to talk a little bit about let's just do makeup because I don't have a lot of makeup I just have some basics that I use all the time and I think that they're um, worth talking about so if you know somebody who um, wears makeup and wears makeup daily um, I think this is a beautiful gift to give this is the Colleen Rothschild radiant cleansing balm very good for all types of skin it smells great and it will remove every stitch of makeup and leaves your face feeling so so soft there's a uh, muslim cloth that comes with it i use a lot of colleen rothschild products i think they're um, well worth it but this is a just a very unique um, special gift to give 
It's a little bit on the pricier side, but it's well worth it. And a jar like this, these big ones, will last a long, long time because it's extremely balmy and concentrated and uh, it goes a long way. But the results after washing and removing your makeup and putting a warm uh, muslin cloth on to remove it all and rinsing your face off, your skin is super soft and clean and that's important next on makeup if you're looking for a gift for somebody um, maybe either starting out with makeup or um, you know somebody that you know you know likes makeup um, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these products this is Tarte and Mac Mac has beautiful um, blushes, beautiful lipsticks, the same with Tarte as far as their blushes. Um, I love Tarte blushes. I wear these all the time. I just switch back and forth. And um, I have an assortment of blushes, as you all know, but these are the ones that I think um, go on beautifully. And I actually select these because I think if you are a beginner makeup user, these blend really nice they're easy on your skin and um, they're workable. And so I just think that these are, um, this is a great choice as far as cosmetic lines. And also two of my favorite brushes that I just can't do without, I say that, but I don't want to do without. One of them is the It Cosmetic um, Powder Brush. Love this. Um, it Cosmetic Brushes. You can buy at several different places, but Ulta carries a big assortment. And this is Hourglass. Um, this is a concealer. I use this as a concealer brush. It um, is has the right angle. It's a great brush a great tool it's one i find that i use and especially i use for under this area here because it's so soft there's no pinching there's no um prickliness to it and it blends really well with a very soft touch very soft touch so these are favorites as long as we're on the ulta thing fresh um philosophy any flavor, any. This is what I use in the shower all the time. I had a couple of bottles that were gifted to me, um, seasonal type gingerbread scents and all. And then this was my last one and I'm down to the very end and I will use every bit of it. And then I happen to love this body lotion by Philosophy. It's called Fresh Cream. Just has a really nice pleasing scent. And I find that using this particular scent um, just especially at night after a shower it's so soothing and it's just relaxing and I find that it doesn't really interfere if I want to use this lotion during the day after a shower with perfumes so love these these are well worth the money um, they're a great product also next sorry this has been cut because I'm getting down to the uh, insides there's quite a bit left in there and I just like to cut my uh, tubes and use every bit of it this is Lano lips they do sell this at Ulta I get it on uh, Amazon because I happen to like the banana balm um, this is just a must I've tried so so many different lip balms and this happens to be my all-time favorite i love it it is a good product next we're going to share with you my favorite it's my revlon um, hair dryer i've been using this I've done several videos on this love it um, i've had no issues with it no problems there's three settings it's great and my dry bar hot brush um, Again, this is a great product. This I purchased through Ulta. Um, that's a great product. That would be a very, very wonderful gift to give. I am going to talk about this, and I purchased this on Amazon. This is um, Kitsch, and it is a donut hair towel is what I call it. I get out of the shower. When I'm in the shower, after conditioning my hair, I run a... Um, wet comb through it then when I step out I just curl my hair in here and it is 
so drying. It will take all the moisture out of your hair. It's great. You can run around, do whatever, take it out, finish blow drying your hair or just letting it go air. I love this thing. I can't talk enough about it. I think it's great. So I better get on with this because this is getting really long. I have to speed it up. As far as clothes, a very favorite of all time is Barefoot Bear. Uh, I mean, sorry, um, Barefoot Dreams. Um, this is my um, sweater that I've had for several, several years. It's super big because I it was in the size large and extra large, but it doesn't matter because it's comfy and cozy and I love it. And anybody that could get a gift like this is going to just be thrilled. Oh, another and gift I think that's um, a beautiful gift are um, silk scarves. This is by a Nouvelle apparel and um, it's a scarf you can purchase online through Nouvelle Apparel. I have several of these, a few of these in different colors. I love them. For down here in the south, it, they are perfect. As you can see, they're super wide silk scarves. This is a beautiful one. Um, this is something I treated myself to this year. It's just gorgeous and it's the perfect uh, weight. I want to talk about some jewelry. If there's that special person that you want to buy something that's beautiful and you want to maybe start them on something that is timeless, um, pearls. I think pearls are just a beautiful gift to give to anybody at any age, but especially if you want to um, just make the gift a special gift. This is a Nouvelle um, pearl on a gold chain. It's beautiful workmanship, can't say enough. And you know, a little matching pair of earrings. They don't have to be from the same designer, just whatever, but this happens to be a very beautiful necklace that I wear all the time. I'm just very partial to it. It's dainty and I love it. Another um, favorite is this Tiffany Hart bracelet. I never take this off ever. I just wear it all the time and I think this makes a very special gift. Of course this came from Tiffany's. Nope. I have a couple more on the jewelry line. Um, Tiffany, this little delicate bean necklace. Again, it's a gift that um, just really is very delicate. I wear this pretty much on a daily when I'm not wearing this one or I'm switching out um, necklaces, but pretty much wear them all the time. This is a Stella and Dot um, bracelet and I find that I will um, just put this on and wear this along with this bracelet quite a bit. So these are my favorites. And I had one more that I wanted to share with you. This is another um, jewelry maker that you that's online, you can find online, and it's Miranda Fry. I have a couple of pieces by her, oops, sorry, a couple of pieces by her. This happens to be um, a dangling heart earring. I wear this pretty regularly. I think these make beautiful gifts and they don't really break the bank. I think they're reasonably priced. So also I've got to mention my lipstick. I've had uh, several of you ask me what colors I'm wearing and I have an, a few different ones from Lisa Eldridge. I think they're beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. They feel good on, they're long lasting. As you can see, I've pretty much used this one almost as a routine daily, especially during the fall. This is called Velvet Fawn. I love those lipsticks. Um, she's online, she sells them, and they're just beautiful. And so if you're looking for, get a little extra Christmas money maybe this year, and you're looking for something special for yourself to treat yourself, I would suggest looking at her lipsticks. They're beautiful. Also guys, I do want to mention um, two purses. So this particular purse is one of the ones that I will use throughout of the season. I love it. It's heavy. It's all leather and it's by, um, I think it's called, uh, oh, what's it called? Oh, it's called um, S Zone. I purchased this on Amazon um, about three years ago, two years ago. I know they still have them. Beautiful purse. I mean, it just gets used and abused and it just still looks brand new. And this happens to be the bag that I'm carrying right now. 
Is it my all-time favorite favorite? No, but it's one that I do use and use regularly. Another purse that's a little bit more on the higher end, but I absolutely love it. Use this a lot in the spring and in the summer. It's more compact. It is the um, Tory Birch camera bag, and I think this is in pebble stone. I think that's what the color's called. Um, it does hold a lot you'd be surprised but it just looks beautiful on it feels good on has a nice little leather strap um, i've done videos on this particular bag but again this is another gift suggestion oh, i want to mention um, another very favorite baking item that i use in the kitchen all the time is this this is a king arthur um, pan baking pan it's a it's like a ceramic crock it's wonderful i make my banana breads in here um every time i make banana bread and i make banana bread all year round and it makes a beautiful gift and a lot of times i can cut it in half and slice it wrap it and then give it as gifts so this just bakes the bread so evenly on the outside the inside is done i how many times do you get a piece of banana bread where the edges and the bottom are over processed because the middle isn't done love this pan king arthur and actually any gift that you can give someone who's starting out um, in the kitchen finding products through king arthur it's great and don't forget the basics you know like the simple little um, gifts that you make yourself. Those truly are the best. And this is a little pumpkin, one of the ones that I crocheted last year. And I think they make sweet little gifts. And you can, um, you know, give it along with maybe a, um, you know, bag of coffee or some tea. You don't have to get frustrated over gift giving. I think when you make gifts, especially from the heart, whether it's crocheted or sewn or knitted or painted, whatever, I think those are the best gifts. They're really priceless. Guys, I think that's it. These were just some of the things that I love, that I love to give, that I love to get, and things that I use pretty regularly. And I know they're quality, good products, and um, they're worth the price. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some suggestions. These are gifts that I truly love, that I use all the time, and that I would love to get as gifts um, for myself. And I think that's really what's important in gift giving, not to get frustrated and think so hard. You should think about what that person would like or what they're all about. Um, but even to do something simple like a cup and then fill it with whatever, even if it's a makeup brush, what a cute gift. I go gaga over that kind of stuff. Until my next video, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye. You know, coffee mugs are a great gift for the guys. I love anything that has to do with makeup, sweaters, jewelry, face products. These are all great gifts. And of course, purses. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't love to get a purse? And if it's a guy, maybe a new briefcase, books, great idea and gift cards for guys and you know what they do love coffee happy holidays happy shopping and don't forget those gifts that come from the heart that you make yourself remember really to enjoy the holidays and to keep shopping simple